There are two types of polymerization, addition polymerization and condensation polymerization. We will focus on a type of addition polymerization called free radical polymerization. Free radical polymerization can be broken down into three steps, initiation, propagation, and termination. We will cover two methods of termination, by coupling and by disproportionation. The initiator molecule is created when light energy breaks a relatively unstable bond within a molecule. This reaction results in two free radicals. Each free radical possesses one free electron from the original bond that was broken. The species are highly unstable and reactive. Each free radical species can then react with a monomer. When the first mer is added, the electron that made the free radical reactive is transferred to the mer at the growing end of the polymer chain. More mers join the polymer chain, and the active site continues to be transferred to the new mer upon its addition. The chain increases in length and molecular weight. The polymerization process can end when the active sites of two chains react to form a bond. This termination method is called coupling. A second method of termination is called disproportionation. A hydrogen atom is abstracted from one chain. One of its electrons moves to form a double bond on the final mer of the chain, and the rest of the particle completes and stabilizes a second chain. Termination occurs randomly. A variety of chain lengths can be formed. In addition, polymer chains can become cross-linked when heat, pressure, changes in pH, or radiation are present during the polymerization reaction.